and we're ju we're just toward the end of our severe weather threat. As you can see, this is a look at trees down in Pelzer, and as you can see, some utility workers are working to get that cleaned up. So avoid this area in Pelzer. We have a number of trees that have been reported down from uh, the damaging winds that have been associated with these thunderstorms, which the threat for the most part is over. As you can see, though, Newberry County is, county is one of the only areas still under the gun for severe weather. It's basically the southeasternmost part of the county. Lots of lightning and thunder with this severe thunder storm that's moving to the east at about 40 miles per hour. So just a few minutes left on this warning. As you can see, it's just about to move into uh, Columbia's market. So that'll be the end of our severe weather threat. As you can see, still heavy rain, plenty of lightning, damaging wind gusts, and the uh, potential hail with this storm has been pretty promising. We're also monitoring the wind with it as well. We have seen some pretty solid indications of some damaging straight line winds, not really rotating enough to warrant a tornado warning, but certainly the hail cores are still looking healthy. And as you can see, they are almost out of our area. I would say within the next about 10 minutes max, we're going to be all in the clear in uh, our southernmost areas where these severe thunderstorms have lingered. As you can see, we've got some hail still associated with this storm and uh, we'll continue to monitor this, but it is almost out of the area. For the rest of the weekend and the seven day, let's send it back over to Isaac Williams. Yeah, thanks, Ben. We're watching just this entire system and how it's going to continue moving east. You can just see that swirl in satellite and radar. That was the energy required to pull these storms off to the east. What we're watching back to the west are more garden variety, weak type storms uh, that will probably not uh, impact us in any way. Future cast the rest of the night. We are mostly going to be just fine in terms of any additional storms. We're going to be watching though tomorrow. Some storms could flare up around the mountains middle of the day there and could move into the upstate, but tomorrow unlike today is going to have more of a summertime look to the forecast where we may have a few brief heavy storms in the afternoon, but organized widespread storms like we had today. That's not going to happen tomorrow, and we could see a few more of that activity linger into the evening. But outside of that, it's just kind of stabilized and cool out there with temperatures in the 60s as we get into this afternoon and the rest of this evening. But we're going to be in the upper 80s tomorrow. Sultry heat and humidity on the way with about a 30 to 40% chance of a passing storm either day. Memorial Day looks generally cloudy, a little cooler, and by cool, we mean low 80s or upper 70s. And then the rest of the week, it looks uh, pretty typical of late May and early June. Spotty rain with temperatures into the 80s. Don't forget you can head to Fox.